Your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Mass Department of Public Health releasing the latest coronavirus numbers in the state over the past week, reporting 6,477 new cases. Now, it's important to note today's update includes a backlog of 680 cases from December 1st. Thursday marked the highest single daily increase we've seen since the start of the pandemic. So that brings the total number of confirmed cases in the Bay State to 232,264. The state also seeing 49 more deaths. The statewide death toll stands at 10,637. U.S. health officials say everyone who gets the COVID-19 vaccine will be issued a vaccination card to keep in their wallet or purse. The Department of Defense released the first images of vaccination kits. The vaccination cards will be used as a record of who's had one and when their next dose is due. And every dose administered will be reported to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Work on changing exit numbers is scheduled to begin on the Mass Pike this month. Mass DOT says they'll install the new sign starting December 13th. The project was announced earlier this year to bring the Commonwealth up to date with federal regulations, which requires highway exits be numbered by the mileage. The work is expected to end next summer. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Skies mostly cloudy overnight with a brisk and cool night ahead. We'll have a bit of a breeze with temperatures dropping to the lower and middle 30s. And then tomorrow, a milder day, temperatures climbing back to near 50. But we do have a lot of clouds around for your Friday. And after about 4 or 5 p.m., there's a chance for some spotty light rain showers. That rain turns steadier and heavier, though, as low pressure starts moving out toward the Carolinas and mid-Atlantic. It comes off the coast and will pass off to our southeast. The question is how far southeast. It is looking like we have the potential to see some rain changing over to snow, or it's possible that the storm stays a little bit too far to the east and could actually more miss us than hit us. But either way, there is a winter storm watch up for Berkshire, Franklin, Hampshire, and western Hamden counties from Saturday morning to Sunday morning for the potential of six or more inches of snow. We'll definitely be keeping you posted at westernmassnews.com. Sunday, blustery and cold with highs in the mid-30s, a few flurries, dry and chilly most of next week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.